As you say, you are merchants, and therefore unaware of the diplomatic obstacles involved. Even as to trade, I see great practical difficulties. Not least the shipment of huge sums of gold over the distances you speak of. But huge sums of gold change hands every day in China, my lord, in the form of paper money. Paper money? Yes. <laughs> Each of these notes is stamped with its own true value in silver or gold. Redeemable at any time from the Khan's treasury. They are promissory notes. Yes, but for the future. <laughs> They're the most usual type of money in the empire. Provided that your Khan keeps enough true gold and silver to guarantee them. So this is the money our serene republic is expected to trade for at the risk of its immortal soul. Flimsy squares of paper. Not the paper, sir, but the value it represents. Which is precisely nothing. Exactly. At any moment, your Khan can refuse to honor it. It's a question of trust. Oh, trust the, the infidel? Master Polo, this is money. The only real money. It speaks. It has its own voice. <laughs> A candle, please. And it is indestructible. <laughs> But this, an illusion. It has no weight or value a man can see. How can we trust what the merest accident can destroy? <laughs> You're just burnt the equivalent of 20 pounds of silver. Congratulations.